It's week 17 of the NFL, and the spotlight's on Devontae Parker, author of an 1,100-yard season so far and hoping to add more. It's the Patriots and the Dolphins, next on Madden Football. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Patriots. They're squared off against a very tough unit to throw against. And this is not one of the better passing offenses in the league to begin with, Brandon. And to illustrate that point, they're down near the bottom of the power ranking, so the focus is going to need to be on possession-type throws. Whether they're trying to use their running backs or tight ends a little bit more, the big thing is to make sure the quarterback gets it out of his hands quickly to his receivers, and they hope to gain an advantage that way. Here's a putter, Thomas Morstead, to get this win started, and we are underway in Foxborough. Taken at about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. Leading them out, the second year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that will help my team. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. From the 25 on second down, Jones right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Now Jones. Escaping the... And a big loss here as he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing Jones. Fires the out route and completes it to Harris. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. And the punter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Now Hill to return it. Nearly a huge return as it is. Still a very good one. 24 yards. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position. First and 10. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. And that's really good field position they were given. Now, nothing's a gimme. We know that. But I know his goal had the field goal kicker just stay on the bench. They want to put it in the end zone and get six out of this one. If they don't, I think it'll feel like a disappointment. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two are going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. Now what a first down pickup of eight. The Dolphins hit 5 and 10 now on the year. They were losers their last. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. 
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Running the counter with Mostert. Runs over him. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Somebody like is going to hear the same thing when he gets to the sidelines after this series. So close to the first down marker. Just take it and run for the first down. Nelson's trying to throw it down. Field, and that one falls incomplete. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will jump out to a 3 nothing lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal. for their second drive. You know, in our research packet this week, prepping for the game, so many articles from the local beat writer about the offensive struggles of this team and what will they do this offseason? What do you think they'll do? Well, number one, they'll turn to their self-scouting report. And every team that's any good does this. They have outside groups. Check out their team, scout them, and tell you who can play, who can't play, and reasons why. Some of it may just be health. They have to get some guys healthy and back out on the field. But overall, evaluate this squad and make the changes that you need to. Now a dump off here complete. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throwing there this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Dolphin football. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. He's got a man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. To throw again on second down. Tua. And, oh, that would get a wide-up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. On third down, here's Gaskin. And he picks up the down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. On first down, back to Gaskin. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Miles Gaskin as time expires in the first half. And the Dolphins will extend their lead on the final play of the half. Well, my education continues in this game. I've got to tell you because there's not an analyst in the world that would have said pass up the field goal here, go for it, and expect for it to be successful, and it was. I mean, they're playing this one just like a video game. <laughs> Especially for the final play of the first half to have the guts to do that. But I guess what do we say? The end will justify the means, right? No doubt about it. For you and me, we live, we learn. So, all right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. 
to and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their 25 yard line. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. Now he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Running on first down with Gasket. And some space here. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Another run with Gaskin. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Two and now on first down. Finding Gaskin underneath. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. From the 24, Tua. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. Looking to pass, Tua. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. Tua Tungabailoa taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Dolphins take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Throwing again. Jones. This complete to a man they went against in practice for years, Devontae Parker. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. Now they try a lateral, but it doesn't work. It's a loose ball. And it's a big turnover there on the final play of the quarter. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first down carry for Harris. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five about the four. From the four, it's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. New England on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're up against a third and one situation. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Back to throw. Jones looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. On 
on the ground. It's Mostert. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. So the defense does their job. They get rid of that zero on the scoreboard. Now we'll see if their offense can come to play. Well, that's the way you get things started, right? Score yourself on defense, get the ball back for your offense, and tell them, let's go. We're in the game now. So now Jones and the Patriots down by 15. Just over a minute, 40 to play. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Connecting with Aguilar. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Here's Jones. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And they're going to move it down inside the 25 to throw is Jones. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Jones. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Now they go for it on four but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it's looking like the Dolphins are going to win the football game. They'll start on the ground. And he loses the football a second time, and it's picked up by the Patriots, and he'll be down at the six-yard line. Well, that's one of those mistakes. That's a fumble that when they get to the sidelines, I know you're mad, Coach, but look, we still got this locked down, but that's not necessarily true, is it? You no, know, their hopes are slim, but you just hate to give them any hope. You could have sealed it right there. Yeah, it could have fit. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And oh, it's blocked. This is going the other way. Look at the big man rumble. The 40, the 30, the 20, 10, 5, and all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Well, you figure with a veteran kicker out there, these extra points almost automatic, but this one turns into two points the other way. And we both know it's hard to put it on him. I think there's a breakdown in the protection, but guess what? It does go against his record. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. <laughs> On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he will take it in for the Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Oh, and it's no good. He tugged it wide left, and that will keep our score right where it is. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taking in at the three. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say 
game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but, yeah, I, but, but I... But I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for Miami, they get a six win of the season to go with their 10 losses.